over a week since I've been to the allotment. I need to talk to somebody, I need to get my fix. I just want to talk about my flowers and my seeds. What am I to do? Got it. Stick the kettle on jazz. I'm coming over. Jem's coming over, guys. Oh no, she's going to want to talk about flowers. Oh, you got any custard creams? Biscuits? No biscuits, Ellen, I'm afraid. But we've got cake. Oh, cherry and sultana. Okay, cherry and sultana. Ah, oh, here we go. Through. I've got some people here I'd like you to meet. Oh, new people. Do they like flowers? Yes, they like flowers. Come on through. Hiya, Jen. Hiya. <laughs> yeah, Monty and Alan have been watching our show and they want to help us out. Oh, great. Well, maybe I can show you what I've been up to this week then, guys. Oh, I'll try and help you if I can, Jen. Biscuits! It's raining again. Uh, the other day on the UK Here We Grow uh, Facebook page, somebody, and I'm really sorry, I can't remember yours or her name, but they suggested putting um, seeds to germinate in kitchen, mo moist kitchen roll in a plastic food bag or freezer bag um, and said that they germinate really quickly. So I tried it with five Cosmos seeds and that was three days ago, I think, and here they all are, look, they've all sprouted. So I'm now going to go and plant them. It's five, isn't there? One, two, three, yeah. Um, these ones here are nigella seeds that I tried as well but they haven't come out yet so I'll leave them for a little bit longer but yeah it's worth doing I'll see if they survive and stuff but um just thought I'd share that with you so my corn I put some corn flowers in the other day and they started sprouting like that I did it on the kitchen roll thing so I'm now going to plant those I've basically made some little drill holes in a seed tray and I'm just popping them in uh, I think I might have done them too close to the surface before because um, that's why they grow a bit leggy so I'm dropping them right down there and then I'll push them in put the little end of this kind of paintbrush just push them in and cover them over really gently um, my Aaron Pilot potatoes have chitted rather well I think they're pretty much ready uh, planning to plant them first week of April when I get back from holiday because people either say oh, yeah 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 you can do it now or they say no wait till after Easter so that's my compromise <laughs> doing it the first week of April um, these are my Sarpo mirror for Julie Drake's uh, competition which I shall be doing on Sunday these are Orla that Jazz gave me already ready chitted these are my Charlotte potatoes my second earlies in here I mean, these grew ages ago, I potted them right up to their necks ages ago and they've not grown. Uh, all my seeds are doing that, none of it, they get to that stage and then they, honestly, they haven't done anything for about five or six weeks, so I don't know what's happening. I mean, it's quite dark in here, as you can see the roof is quite dirty. I've got a plastic greenhouse out there, got a few things in there, in propagators in there, uh, who knows how they'll get on. It's just not looking so great at the moment. Yeah, like I've got some little cosmos in there. I mean, they're doing okay, but I bet they won't grow any more than that for weeks. Maybe when the sun comes out this weekend, it will be okay. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. I've got some zinnia to go in this one. Um, so, fingers crossed, that that's all I can say. This one's a... that's better. This one's a little uh, zinnia. So I think most of them have sprouted in the plastic bag, so I'm going to give them the same treatment into this little tray. Good work, Jim. Maybe you guys can have a look at what I've been doing this week. Yeah, I'll try and help if I can. Biscuits! So here's my garlic, the stuff that I planted on thyme, and I planted um, about November time. I just wondered if this looks okay. <laughs> is this how garlic is supposed to look at this stage? Um, I'm not sure if they're bulbing up. I don't know if this is... Is that mould on the base of that stem? Anyway, I'm going to give them a bit of a feed now. 
just with this stuff in here. So I'm literally just gonna <laughs> just go around here and hope that the rain takes some of the nutrients down to where they need it, down to the roots. Because I would like to do some garlic, to get some garlic. But um, I hope this isn't too much. I don't know how much of this stuff you're supposed to put on. But they might be hungry. I can't let them starve, that'd be terrible. I think I might have to get rid of some of this. Yeah, they're looking a bit yellow, aren't they? A bit a bit poorly. Maybe if I put some rock dust on these as well. And um, they, maybe it's just that they're hungry. Here's my spring onions. I'm going to put some fertiliser on these as well. So I'll put some rock dust on these onions now. That must be enough, do you think? So these are the varieties I'm growing of tomatoes, money maker and gardener's delight. Not that fussed about money maker, but I've got some left in the pack. Tomato Gardener's Delight, a good old favourite. I kind of had a rush with my seeds this year and didn't have time to think about it and I probably would have got something a bit more exciting to grow as well, like one of the Tigerella sort or sort of something like that. One of the black ones maybe, but um but these I'll do for this year and Gardener's Delight always tastes nice so This is what we discovered the other day when a paving slab fell in. So we put a pot in it to keep the cats safe from falling in. So we're gonna have to fill this in with as much spent compost as we can find. Those pots still got a spade's depth once we pushed it all down. 
to go. This old pack of uh, broad bean seeds. They were in the shed. I don't know where they came from. They might have been um, the guy who lived here before, because we did find some seeds. But I don't, I don't know where they came from or what variety they are. But I'm going to open them now and see if they look any good. Well, to be honest, I wouldn't know if they looked good or not. Um, I guess if they look really manky, then they're no good. So it's like a magical little parcel. I just find this kind of thing really exciting. It's like a mystery parcel. I think most of them look okay. This is great. Well, we'll see, we'll see. They might be five years old. But, well. There's 24 beans here that are okay to sew. So it'll be exciting to see if anything comes up. What a treat. Okay, I'm ready to sew my magic broad beans. The first thing I'm going to do is fill each of these with some compost. Carefully. <laughs> I just thought we found this today and we didn't really know what it was for. Um, but I might use this to help me fill these. It'd be perfect. Let's test it. Yay! This is great. Now I'm just going to push this soil down a bit. So as you can see I've poked them all down because I've got to put the have to put the micro mycorrhizal fungi stuff in that I'm going to put in all of my sewings that I remember to. So there'll be a layer of that in, and then there'll be a bit more, a uh, bit more compost, and then I'll put the bean in and then cover it. And then on top of that, we put a layer, a bit of soil. Here are my broad beans, my mystery broad beans, and I'm just going to put them in just like that into each one. Then I just put some compost, fill up these tubes, then give them a water and we're done. And then, put them somewhere in the sun. Oh, it's dark. My mysterious broad beans. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next week. Bye. 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 Biscuits. <laughs> I've got some people here I'd like you to meet. Oh, do they like it? <laughs> 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 Yeah, that'll be. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and help if I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got any custard creams. <laughs> sure. Biscuits. <laughs> I'm gonna stop laughing. Biscuits. <laughs> Biscuits. <laughs> oh, cherry and sultana. <laughs> oh, new people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, new people. Do they like flowers? Yes, they like flowers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, new people. <laughs> people, do they like flowers? Yes. The... <laughs> okay, go. Oh, new people. Do they like flowers? Yes, they like flowers. <laughs> Come on.
I can't <laughs> stop. Right. I want to help out. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure what variety they are. <laughs>